كربلاء Upon learning that his army had succeeded to lay a siege around the Imam's camp, Governor Ibn Ziyad sent additional army units to Karbala and appointed Umar ibn Sa'd in charge. Imam Hussein alayhi salam opened the dialogue with Umar ibn Sa'd and convinced him to lift the siege so that the Imam with his family and companions could leave Iraq. Umar ibn Sa'd liked the Imam's proposal and sent a message to Governor Ibn Ziyad notifying him about the results of the talks with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Ibn Ziyad also found the Imam's proposal acceptable. However, before agreeing to it officially, Shimr ibn al-Jawshin opposed it strongly. As a result, Ziyad wrote a letter to Umar ibn Sa'ad commanding him either to go to war with Imam Hussein alayhi salam or be relieved of his duties as commander of the army and Shimr would not only replace him but dispatch Ibn Sa'ad's head to Kufa. Umar ibn Sa'ad got the letter and after pondering over the consequences, he decided to fight Imam Hussein alayhi salam. On the seventh day of Muharram, he moved his troops closer to the camp and began to surround the Husseini camp. Ibn Sa'ad laid a blockade around the camp to cut it off from access to the river Euphrates to deprive it of water in a move to force them to surrender. Two days later, on the ninth of Muharram, the enemy's military forces closed in on the camp of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Imam asked his brother Abbas to talk to Ibn Sa'ad and requested delay of the aggression by one night. Umar ibn Sa'ad agreed to the demand and he ordered his troops to delay their aggression till the next morning. Imam Hussein and his pious companions spent that night in prayers. During the night the Imam told the companions that the enemy is interested in none but me, me alone, and I'll be most delighted to permit each and every one of you to go back and I urge you to do so. All the companions screamed in response, By Allah, never, never, we will either live with you or die together with you. 